Israel has the right to defend itself. It's beginning to sound like a broken record, from Bush to Obama to right Biden. To Israel has a right to defend itself. Even to ScoMo down here, it's a pathetic lie. And here's why. Israel already is defending itself. Given that it's stopping so much of the rockets it claims to defend itself from, why pound Gaza with such ferocity? The exceeding amount of casualties on the Palestinian side far outweighs that on the Israeli side. We see it time and time again. The ratio of the Palestinians that die compared to Israelis is not even remotely close. The enormous power imbalance between Israel and Palestine is incomparable. On one side, you have a nuclear superpower heavily funded by US taxpayers in the billions of dollars, housing some of the most advanced and powerful military prowess in the world. And on the other side, you have a people living under a blockade with no navy, no air force, no tanks, nor any access to heavy artillery. This is not an equal fight. This is a superpower literally crushing a people it knows can only fight back so much. The excessive use of force. Israel is leveling entire residential apartments to the ground. We are seeing entire families being wiped out of existence after being buried in the rubble of such buildings. And if they do so happen to survive, the people of Gaza are left homeless, widowed and orphaned. Israel is killing children. Israel has a history of killing children in the name of self-defense. 58 children in the last week alone, 551 children in its 2014 attack on Gaza, and over 3,000 more in the past 20 years of Israeli aggression. With the majority of Gaza's population under the age of 15, and being one of the most densely populated places on earth, you would think Israel would be cautious in its exercise of self-defense, but I guess not. Israel is killing doctors. In the past week, Israel murdered Gaza's top neurosurgeon and also the head of Gaza's COVID response. Israel also bombed the main road leading to Gaza's Al-Shifa hospital, while also shutting down Gaza's only COVID testing lab. It's not only killing the people of Gaza, but preventing them from receiving any treatment. Israel is wiping out the media. Bombing the center of international media in Gaza is not an act of defense, rather a disgraceful attempt at cutting off the world from witnessing the crimes of Israel unfold. Palestinians deserve to defend themselves. According to international law, Israel is illegally occupying the West Bank and the people of Gaza are living under an illegal Israeli blockade. Israel is by all definitions an apartheid state and has subjected the people of Palestine to tremendous abuse, tyranny and oppression. If anyone deserves the right to defend themselves, it's the Palestinians. As an old man in Gaza once said, you take my water, burn my olive trees, destroy my house, take my job, steal my land, imprison my father, kill my mother, bomb my country, starve us all, humiliate us all, but I am to blame, I shot a rocket back. It truly is no different to blaming a woman for punching her rapist. And to top it all off, Israel doesn't care. Israel has a history of acting with impunity. It kills knowing full well it will not be held to account. Until this day, the US continues to block United Nations statements from condemning Israel's military response and any calls for a ceasefire. Israel simply doesn't care and it will continue to feed us its lies of self-defense to cover up its terror. This is not self-defense. This is mass murder. This is genocide. And it's about time we wake up.